Mm, all right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. This Edge kit, this is from uh, Geek Vape Digiflavor. And the big gimmick behind this kit is that it supports wireless charging. And it definitely does support wireless charging. And you can buy a wireless charger to use with this. But we're going to get there in a second right now. I just wanted to go over this mod a little bit. Feels like a very Chinese standard issue mod. There's a lot of mods that are this exact same shape. Many, many mods from Joytech, many, many mods from Vaporesso. It seems to be a pretty tried and true shape. It's a dual 18650. Your door is on the back. And because of the wireless charging, the door kind of fits on a little bit differently. There's like this button right here that will release your door. Got your battery sled in the back with a ribbon in the back. The battery said, eh, it's fairly clearly marked. You can see that's positive up there. That's negative up there. So when we put our batteries in, we want to we want to follow those. Those, uh, you know, suggestions, not suggestions, like rules, laws. This is law right here. Positive up. That's the law. You follow the law. And then you can snap your door back on. It's got this sort of diamondy texture along the sides. I actually kind of like that. I think it looks pretty slick and adds a little bit of texture to it when you're holding it, which I really like. And this is the Spectre sub-ohm tank that comes with this kit. It's a very serviceable sub-ohm tank. The pack-in sub-ohm tanks from both Geek Vape and Digiflavor are always pretty top-notch. Single strip of mesh coil heads on the inside and it still has that sort of like, you know, diamondy looking pattern on it. Nice smooth AFC, 810 compatible drip tip. It's got that Geek Vape release where it's just one quick twist and it'll release those tabs and then reveal your juice fill holes. And then it's just kind of a press down and one quick twist to seal that tank back up. Overall, not a bad little tank. And like I said, the Geek Vape Digiflavor pack in tanks are always real nice tanks. I've never really had an issue with them and they provide a pretty nice little vape. So coming back to this mod, it's got uh, spring-loaded 510 on the top, and you have your up-down adjustment buttons right here in kind of this little triangle shape. You can clearly see your screen right there. And then over here is the button, and this is my single biggest gripe with this mod. The button is stylized to look like the rest of the mod. It's kind of this diamond shapey thing, right? The problem is this button isn't a button that you would press normally. The place where you press this button is at the very top to get it to click like that. You can feel it click and you can hear it click, but you have to press it at the very top. And I find that so incredibly annoying. You can't press it anywhere else. Right here, nothing. <sighs> Come on, man. That's super annoying. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to turn it on. It's got a pretty cool little display. It's nothing really to write home about. It's got battery level indicators. It's going to show you your wattage. It's going to show you your resistance. I know there's no atomizer. It's going to show you everything you need to know. And then if you give this fire button a one, two, three, then this is going to illuminate up here. This changed to a different color. And now it's M1. And you're going through the memory functions now. There's memory wattage in this. It's kind of a little bit of an old school feature. IMO. This used to be on a lot of the old Yeehee boards. Oh, that screen timeout. And that's the thing. You can't adjust anything else on this. There's no adjusting the colors. There's no adjusting the brightness. There's no adjusting the screen timeout. There's no adjusting when it dims and then when it finally turns off. It happens real quickly, as you can see, and th there's just no way to adjust it. And I think that's a huge bummer. So let's one, two, three. Let's try to get that back to white. So now when we scroll back and forth, it's going to go through all the memory functions. And there are four memory, you know, uh, slots available, I guess. I'm going to get back to M1. That's the 60. And if you click this again, it's going to illuminate that. That's your power. And if you switch it, you're going to go through all of the temperature control functions for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel, as well as custom TCRs and a curve function, which... I would never use. The bypass is a parallel bypass, meaning it's going to give you about four volts. And there's ways to get out of the menu system. You can just let it sit there and it'll default out of the menu system. Or let's say we go from bypass back to wattage. If you give the button a long press, boom, that'll take you out of the menu system as well. So all that stuff aside, it's a fairly, I don't know, uninspired mod. It's just kind of that same shape that we're used to. It's got a screen. You can adjust things on it. So now we get to kind of the real, I don't know, gimmick or innovation of this particular kit, and that is the wireless charging. For an additional cost, you can purchase a wireless charger if you want to utilize the wireless charging on this, which, pro tip, you definitely, definitely, definitely do not 
not need to. But the idea is that you plug this in. You're gonna see a white light right there when it's ready and you put this on the charger right there. The screen's gonna illuminate, hopefully. There you go. And then you're gonna see the battery level indicators sort of being filled. And that's let, that lets you know that it's charging on that charger. Unfortunately, the problem that I've been running into with this charger is that little thing right there. It flashes red and will not charge the mod. I don't know if I got a bunky charger or whatever, but it happens frequently and constantly. And the only way that I've found to remedy this is to pull this out, plug it back in. There's a USB-C and a micro USB on the back. Wait for that to turn white and then you're ready to charge it. And then you can put this on here again. And then it's gonna illuminate the screen. You're gonna see the battery level indicators going off and it's gonna start charging it. And then this is probably gonna start flashing red again at some point. Yeah, and that means it's not charging it anymore. I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I just want to show that this isn't like a fluke thing. This is something that continuously happens with this. At least with what I have in front of me. All I can review is what I have in front of me. Now I'm not saying that all of these chargers are going to do this, but my charger definitely, definitely does. Now this charger is also supposed to support charging for, you know, smartphones. I have an iPhone 10 that supports wireless charging, but when I throw it on here, It's staying white, um, it's just definitely, definitely not charging my phone. What if I put it upside down? Yeah, that's not charging my phone at all. What if I put it sideways? Charge my phone. Sideways? This work? Is that charging it? Okay, so if I hold my phone sideways across the middle of this, it will charge it for a second. But if I place it in the dock like it's supposed to, ah, so if I lay it down on it like that, then that is actually charging right now. I just have to lay it sideways with no case on it. So look, I don't know if this is the highest quality wireless charger. Additionally, look, I don't know if you need wireless charging for your mod. I, I kind of feel like this is a little bit silly, but I want to talk about that more when we get back out to normal view. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's the edge kit. It's not anything super, super revolutionary. I mean, as far as the mod goes, it's a shape that a lot of us are familiar with. It's got a clicky, if not a little bit annoying button that I can't just press it where I want to press it. It's just a thing. It's just one of those things that I find obnoxious. It's a lot to me like that Vupu door with a little bit of play on it. This is sand in your shoe, in my opinion. And like I said in the up close, the Spectre tank that they pack in with this edge kit, it, it's a rad tank. You know what I mean? It's not a clunker. It's, it's good. It's got single coil, you know, single core mesh coil head. So they're going to vape like a single core mesh coil head. It's real easy to put together and fill. I like the Geek vape locking system on top where it's just like one twist and then you open it and then like one twist and then it's closed again. I like that so much more than like threads. I've got this loaded up right now with the Turkish Harvest, which is the green apple butterscotch flavor. And you know what? It tastes pretty good in here. Even with a single strip of mesh, it still tastes pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it tastes exactly like that juice. Now, if we're gonna talk about this wireless charging, if we're gonna talk about this fast charger, which by the way, again, does not come with the kit, but we're gonna talk about vape budget hands in a second. I just, I just don't know why it's not working. This could be a fluke. This could just be, maybe I have a defective charger unit. Geek Vape told me to use this charger unit. They said, this is the charger unit, use it. And you can see I got the white light and I can put this on here and the screen will light up and it will start charging and it will charge for about, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds, maybe even a little bit less. Is, the, is it not illuminating? Yeah, it's what's going on here. Oh, I put it on backwards. Ah, <laughs> I'm an idiot. But look, I can only talk about what I have in front of me. This is the charger that Digiflavor sent. This is the edge kit that Digiflavor sent. And if I do, if I hold it vertically like this and I place my phone on it, it'll charge my phone as well. It just won't charge my phone when it's upright. 
in, in any configuration. Up, sideways, sideways. Holy shit, okay, it's charging it. All right, I take back everything I just said. It is charging it sideways. Look at this, yeah. I mean, you can't see it, but that battery is green and it is charging it in a horizontal landscape mode just perfectly. And it's not turning red or nothing. It's just charging it. Shit, all right, that's cool. So I know that the dock works, but I don't know why the dock won't work with the mod that it was designed to work with. It's kind of a bummer, man. And truly and honestly, look, here's the thing. It does have wireless charging, but it's kind of like, why? I get it that it's like a slick, cool new technology. And honestly, when you're sitting here at your desk and you just throw this on the charger when you're not using it, you know that every time you grab it, it's gonna be fully charged. That is worth something, right? But it is also 18650s on the inside. And I would much, much rather charge my 18650s outside of the mod in like a proper 18650 charger. I just personally feel like that's a, a little bit safer of a way to go. If this had a LiPo on the inside, then yeah, a wireless charging thing for a LiPo, I would feel very comfortable using. The problem is this isn't really a super useful feature if the edge is your only device that you have. Because if you're vaping and you're vaping and you're vaping and you go, oh, my batteries are low. Well, now I don't have anything to vape because I have to set that there and charge it. Whereas on any other mod and this mod, you can just pop the batteries out, throw them on the charger, put brand new batteries in here, and then continue vaping without having to put it in a little fast charger cradle and wait for it to charge. I don't know, I guess the wireless charging on a mod gimmick is kind of a little bit lost on me. <gasps> I don't know, it's fine, it's just, it's just not the innovation that I desire, I guess. I don't necessarily love gimmicky things like this. I want something that's gonna make the vape experience better. I want like real value added. I feel like this is a little bit of gimmicky value added. Okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out like, why won't this charge? What's going on here? Why does it keep stopping? And I've been experimenting around with like where it's placed on the charger, but I found just now that if you hold it up a little bit and it's not on the platform, if you, if you leave like a half an inch underneath it, it doesn't stop charging. It will just continue to charge. In fact, it gave me a screen that I've never seen before that I'll try to show you right here. But it goes to a completely different screen and it'll show right there, just your battery level indicators on the screen. And that's with about a half inch underneath the charger of space. I'm holding it physically up with my fingers and it's charging and it's continuing to charge and it's not turning red and it's not stopping the charging process but I have to hold it up in order to do that. What could I stick under there? What could I stick under there? A stig maybe? I gotta have something, right? I gotta have something I can stick under there so that it'll continue charging. And again, look, this isn't something that you should have to deal with. You shouldn't have to find some like weird workaround to get this charger to work. You should just be able to put it on there and have it work, right? So here's the thing, overall, the Edge, it's a pretty slick little kit. I don't feel like it's leaps and bounds better than any of the other kits that are out there, like the Vaporesso kits, or even like the Inakin Proton stuff, or even some other stuff from Digiflavor or Geek Vape. So let's wrap this up. Enough rambling, let's wrap this up. Let's get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out this Digiflavor Edge kit? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from like, 85 to 90 dollars for the kit and again that does not include the charger the charger is a separate purchase and i can't find the cost of the charger anywhere so even if this is pretty reasonably priced at like 20 bucks which i feel like this is going to be a little bit more expensive than 20 bucks then to get the edge kit and the wireless charger so that you can wirelessly charge your mod you're going to be well over a hundred dollars and personally i don't feel like there's a need to spend over a hundred dollars because 
I don't really need a wireless charger for my mod. So now, I mean, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Edge Kit something I would seek out and buy? No, I mean, probably not. Look, it's just not my favorite regulated mod. There's a few gripes I have with it that we already talked about, and those are enough to keep me from really, really enjoying this mod, especially when there's so many other really good regulated mods out there in the market. I'll throw some links down in the description to some other reviews of other regulated mods that I kind of enjoyed a lot more than this edge kit. Granted, I mean, they don't come with wireless charging. <laughs> anyway, that's enough rambling for me. I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.